All right, so I've been on vacation visiting Dad. When I come home, my wife has a few things that are broke. One of which required me to go to Lowe's and get me a, a nice little piece of oak. And I don't get to use this tool very often, so I figured I'd document it. Boy, ain't she pretty. Now, this is not exact science for me. Far from it. recognize that I was holding my lip a certain way. You see that in there? I hold my lip like that because it's a family trait. I notice when dad does it, he seems to fix things a lot better than when he don't do that face. So, keep that in mind when you're doing your home improvement stuff around the house. You gotta hold your lip a certain way in order for stuff to work right. Uh... I think I'm out of uh, my rough sandpaper. All I got is this 150 grit. That'll do. All I want to do is sand this down. See, I got a, I got a room above the garage where the oldest boy lives, a college boy. And being a college boy, he's kind of rough on stuff. But the room above the garage has its own bathroom. And whenever we have company come to town, you know, adult company, we try to put them up in that room because it's got its own bathroom. And it's got a king-size bed. You know, it's perfect for folks to stay in. Well, in his bathroom, his little doohickey that holds the toilet paper up has come out of the wall one too many times. I've repaired the wall, and I've repaired the doohickey, and I've relocated the doohickey. But he's just a little too, a little too rough with it. So I figured I'd go get me a piece of oak, okay? And I'm going to tack this to the wall, very firm, and then tack the other little doohickey right up to it. That way this oak is going to hold it good. Now I know a lot of you folks don't understand what a doohickey is. You'll go on your Google, and you're going to look up the word doohickey. You're probably not going to find it. But let me, let me just verify and, and entrust in you and say the doohickey is a famous tool brought down by the Egyptians and the Mayans back when they was up doing them pyramids. The fellow said, hey man, I need something to build me these pyramids with. And he said, hang on right back, I'm going to get me a doohickey. Doohickey. Now I can neither confirm nor deny the, the rumors or aspects of that, but I'm just telling you that's what it is. So anyway. Let me clean this up. I ain't gonna paint this just yet. I just cut it and sanded it a little bit so it'd be kind of smooth. But I might slap some paint on it. You just never know. Stay tuned. All right, so also up here, I'm gonna replace this toilet seat, which my wife so handily took off and got rid of and <clears throat> I went to Lowe's and found the cheapest wooden one I could find that says easy clean and change which sounds like me sounds perfect this is the little doohickey I was talking about that I needed replacing you can see I've done some work trying to repair it in the past I'm gonna remedy that problem right here with one of these anyway I'm gonna get to work well here's the hole after I took the the toilet doom hickey off. Toilet what do you call it? Toilet paper. Handle do hickey. And <clears throat> just in time my wife came home to tell me, don't put the wood up there, that looks stupid. Come up with a different plan. So here's my different plan. I'm gonna put this in the hole. See that? It'll go in like this, and it goes behind the drywall and it separates. 
and then you tighten it down, it'll hold in place. So, uh, I don't have a tripod, nor do I have the uh, wherewithal to acquire one for this iPhone. But as you can tell, I am an expert at all things handy. And no, that wasn't a joke, that was for really real. Now, I do have to sit this down to tighten this up. I don't know if y'all can see me, but let's try sitting you right here. I doubt you can see me at all, but I'm going to give it a shot. Because <sighs> while you're tightening this top one, you have to apply pressure to pull on it. That way behind the wall, that piece that's opened up, like I, I call it a butterfly. I don't even really know what the technical name of it is. It opens up like butterflies' wings to me. But if you pull on it towards you as you tighten it, then it won't just spin around. If you don't pull on it, then obviously it's just going to spin around and frustrate you because you're going to be tightening nothing. close to the source now, I can feel it. Alright. Bottom one's in there. Top one's in there. Now, the way this is made, see it's got this little screw hole in here? And it's got this little tiny hidden screw. This fits over this. Like so. And then you put this. Ah. You gotta make sure it's on there. There we go. This kind of works meant for smaller hands. Which I do not possess. And it also helps if you have one of those magnetized screwdriver thing on revolves. It ain't going anywhere. Y'all see that? Tighten on the wall. Tight all. And it ain't going anywhere. I put the toilet seat on. And it was so quick and easy, I didn't really feel any need to show you. I didn't even read the directions. Didn't have to. All it comes with is a plastic bolt and a plastic nut on the end. You put the plastic bolt in here and the nut through the bottom. It's got a flange, it's got a little, little side on it so it can only turn one way. Tighten it all the way down. And then this right here, those little flaps, you just push over it and it locks in place. It's so easy. And it looks, it looks brand new. Look, oh, I guess it's because it is brand new. Hello, hello. Toilet bowl. All right, quit playing around. <clears throat> I don't know where. I don't know where I get this from. Just playing around with this stuff. So anyway, I guess I need, didn't need to buy that wood or cut it or drill it or anything. But now I've got some extra oak wood in case I need it for a future project. Or in case he pulls this out of the wall. Let's hope that don't happen. Y'all have a good day.